J-Bone here. Formula One fans hear the word downforce all the time, but what exactly is downforce and what creates it? Let's find out. J-Bone! The FIA's simply stated definition of downforce is as follows. The aerodynamic force that is applied in a downwards direction as a car travels forwards. <laughs> Boring! That definition just does not do justice to the truly mind-blowing nature of downforce, which can be more easily explained using downforce's alternate name, negative lift. You know how an airplane is aerodynamically designed to harness lift and fly up into the sky as it travels forwards? Formula One cars are aerodynamically designed to be pushed into the ground as they travel forwards by way of negative lift, aka downforce, which substantially aids grip and direction change at high speeds. Airplane wings generate lift by deflecting air downwards due to their shape and or angle of attack. This downward deflection causes a difference in pressure on either side of the wing that generates lift. Formula One car wings, located on both the front and rear of every F1 car, essentially do the same thing as airplane wings, just upside down. These wings combine to generate the majority of an F1 car's downforce, with the design of the chassis and additional downforce creating components such as the diffuser largely contributing as well. The front wing is the single most important downforce component on a car. This is because it both creates downforce and, as the first point of contact with airflow, is tasked with moving said airflow over the rest of the car as efficiently as possible. Because of its position at the front of the car, it's also the most easily damaged downforce creating component. That's why you see F1 cars getting nose jobs in the middle of races so often. Combined, these components create enough downforce for Formula One cars to be able to take corners at speeds of over 180 miles an hour. If I tried to take a turn going even half that speed in my 2008 Nissan Sentra, I'd roll three counties over. So Formula One cars are essentially upside down airplanes, except, you know, they actually have room for your legs to spread out. I'm looking at you, Frontier. To further the comparison between airplanes and Formula One cars, there are planes that weigh as much as Formula One cars that can take off at speeds F1 cars are more than capable of reaching. This begs the question, if you flip an F1 car upside down, could you fly it like a plane? No, no you can't, it's not possible. But it is theorized that an F1 car generates enough downforce to actually drive upside down for an extended period of time in a tunnel. Probably not a Haas though. That's downforce for you. Leave a comment with what Formula One concept you want me to break down next and toss me a follow for more Formula One content.